Hi Libra, welcome to your love connection reading for the month of December. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. This is for whenever you see it, tell whenever. Um, this is a love connection, so you actually have to have a connection with a person, whether you're together, not together, separated, dating, whatever. You like each other. If you like somebody and you're not sure if they even know who you are, then you might want to watch the singles readings that I do every month. So please keep that in mind. Please only take what resonates, throw away the rest, swip, swip, switch and swap the energies, flip-flop them however you see fit. So Libra, I hope you're all doing well and um, happy fall, happy December. All right, so let's see what's going on for Libra in the Love Connection Department for Libra. Libra, 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 what's going on with you? This or may, may or may not resonate with everybody, so please keep that in mind. If it doesn't, hold out till the next reading. Okay, so let's get from this deck, sign, element, or planet. If you don't resonate with what comes out here, that's totally fine. This is sort of like a little extra bonus. So we have Gemini, fellow air sign. So some of you could be dealing with a Gemini. Hmm. If not, like I said, that is totally fine. All right, so did I introduce myself at the beginning? I don't remember. If I didn't, if you're new, my name is Mary, and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. I'm a Leo, the sun represents Leo, and I love to give insight, so Leo Sunlight Insight. So, let's see, Libra. Let's get an overall connection between you and your person. Oh. So we have the three here with the ship, and we have the ten of spades at the bottom, which is about the ten of swords is a painful ending. This is somebody could be moving, traveling, moving on. Three, though, is about, you know, teamwork, collaboration, socializing, social number here. So let me read a little bit about that energy. Um, somebody could be ending something and just moving on. Uh... Let's see what that what that is saying here. It says, ship, I take you on a vacation or a business trip. You will need a suitcase for where we are going. Distance is what I am known for, and I am constantly in motion. Look at the cards next to me for the clues and cues to the changes I bring in your life's journey. So... Some of you could be moving on and traveling away from somebody with the Ten of Swords there. The Ten of Swords is a painful, hurtful ending. You could be moving on towards a Gemini. You could be leaving a Gemini. Um, I don't know. We'll see here. We'll see what's going on with you. Or if it's not a Gemini, it could be anybody. Oh, All right. So let's get one for you, one for your person, how you're feeling about each other, how you're feeling about the connection. I'll put Libra here, Gemini here, or whoever you're dealing with doesn't have to be Gemini, but you here, them, they here, male, female, whoever you are, doesn't matter. Um, and I'll read it from that point of view. If you feel at any time, no, the side's me, that side's them, then please, like I said, switch the energies. Hmm. This side here, I'll say is your side. We have time. 37 again. 10 with the ending with 37. It's like time, time to end this. Okay, for some of you, I don't know, we'll see. You get into the tarot, we're going to clarify. So let's see on the other side, on the other side, what is going on with the other side. Oh, we have the sun. So, and this is the Ace of Diamonds here, Ace of Pentacles, a brand new beginning, a fresh start of abundance, growth, expansion, building for the long term, a firm foundation. 31 here is four, which is about stability, foundation, basis, structure, sun, happiness, joy, victory. Oh boy. So 37 there is to me time. So let's see what this little book here says about that. Time. My appearance brings time to the forefront of importance I may be approaching or passing, so be attentive. Use my wisely use me wisely to provide perspective. Look around me to better understand my involvement. 
certain cards may show may slow me down but sometimes a quick action will get you the crown so you are either moving towards this person that you see is your happiness and joy that you want success with and you know it's time to move to the towards this person and your person is seeing you as their joy and happiness so the ship could be actually you know moving together very quickly I don't know. We'll see. It could go so many ways here. You could be moving, be moving quickly away from somebody. You feel like it's time just to end it and move away from this person, or you feel like it's time to end a certain situation or end something, or the stagnancy between the two of you and move together forward together. Like it's time to have this happiness, joy, success with each other. So it could go either way, I guess whatever way resonates for you. And when we get to the tarot, we'll definitely see what's going on here. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Oh, we have the palace, six of swords energy here, which is about, um, oh my God, I'm having a brain freeze. But we got 19 again with 10. So six of swords is about moving forward. Like you see in a regular tarot deck, the six of swords are in their ship together moving forward in a better direction and here's the ship so six of swords is moving in a better direction moving to a peace place of peace harmony and balance 10 it, then again though 1910 though is an ending something's ending but something's going in a better direction and we have the um, golden palace or the palace here so let's see what that has to say or the tower it's tower Cooperations, organizations, institutions, and governments come under my influence. I am boundaries and restrictions, so be mindful of isolation. I describe your ambitions as well as your expectation. And let's not forget your higher education. So, so this is very much a structure. Security, structure, foundation. Um, so I feel like this also reminds me of like, you know, like the four of wands. It's about home and structure, foundation, basis, security, stability. Structure. So I'm getting structure and foundation and stability with that. Balance going in a better direction. So I don't know. We'll see here. We'll see here. See here what's going on. You could be... I mean, the sun here does represent Leo. So if some of you are leaving a Gemini or an air sign or just somebody else, maybe they have Gemini heavily in their chart, you could be moving away because this ship is moving away from this person. So you could be moving away from this person, ending it with them and knowing it's time just to end that and moving towards a fire sign or a Leo, Leo Sagittarius, to your abundance and to your stability going in a better direction you it's like you know it's time it's time so that could be for some of you yeah somebody will be left with a broken heart here with the three of swords and death yeah wow so ending again death ending in the three of swords so something's somebody's ending something and somebody will have a broken heart Wow. Okay. And swords is air, three of swords. So you could be definitely ending something with the air sign and moving towards a fire sign very quickly. Uh, somebody you could have met uh, socializing somehow. All right. So what do we have? I don't, I don't feel comfortable taking that. So what is this time about on, uh, we'll say that's your side Libra. What is the time about here? It's like, yeah, it's very clear. Like it's time to end a situation so I can go towards my sunshine, moving forward together, the stable new beginning, the firm foundation, going in a better direction together with the six of swords, like I said, is that ship, the two in the boat, going together in a better place with the ship here. So I don't know, you could have met somewhere, this person somewhere in a social group. So we have the fool. Yeah, it's like you're ready to restart to reset at zero and move forward and take this leap of faith. Uh, the fool is Aquarius, but it doesn't have to be. Yeah, you're ready to take this leap of faith. You're like, it's time. I'm ready for this change. I'm ready to reset at zero, set, set the clock back to zero. 
leave that's not what's not serving you so I can move forward to my total happiness and joy it's time and this person sees you in the same energy and my stomach's growling I hope you can't hear that <laughs> the nine of wands so here's the fire energy on their side so yeah they've been fighting for you they've been waiting for you they've been fighting for you they don't want to give up on you they know you're worth the fight and you know they know you're worth it in the end to this happiness and abundance in the end they know it they are not giving up on you and you are ready to take this leap of faith towards this person and leave a situation you know it's time to leave that situation that's no longer serving you some of you definitely are leaving a gemini or an air sign and going towards a fire sign a leo or a leo sagittarius all right or an aquarius we do have aquarius there okay so Let's get a little more clarification on this with the fool and time for libra justice there's your card libra there you are showing up with justice yep doing what's right truth honesty balancing out the scales getting justice in your life it's like you know what i'm done with this situation being with this person that's no longer serving me I'm ready for my own justice. I'm ready to do what's right for me. Some of you could be getting a divorce or just leaving a long-term commitment or somebody that is just no longer serving you. Balancing out your scales and moving forward in a better direction with truth and clarity. Okay. Taking that leap of faith. Resetting at zero. You may be taking your maiden name back. All right, so what is this nine of wands here on the other side? It's too many. Nine of wands on the other side. The eight of cups. Yeah, so, you know, water energy here. This is an energy of walking away from something no longer serving or walking to something more fulfilling. So I'm not getting the energy this person wants to walk away from you. I'm getting the energy here with the nine of wands and the eight of cups that... They want to fight for you and they want to move forward together with you. They want to walk towards you. They want you to walk towards them. You know, they don't want to leave you. They want to keep fighting for you. You know, they may have felt like you turned your back on them. You know, again, just, you know, I feel like they're just waiting and waiting. And maybe they had to turn their back on the connection for just a little bit because um, it was the best thing to do while you sorted out your life. So maybe they knew the best thing to do was to keep their distance from you, but never forgetting you and knowing all those cups are still standing. They're not turned over. They're still full. All their cups are still full, but they knew the best thing to do right now was to give you distance while you sorted your stuff out, not to get involved, but deep in their heart and their mind, they're still standing up for you, fighting for you and not giving up on you. And they're waiting for you to be ready to jump into this with the full energy. All right. So let's get the actual situation for you here, Libra. The actual situation here for Libra. Wow. We have the Queen of Pentacles. We have the Chariot. Wow. One more for Libra. And the Eight of Swords. So... Yeah, you see this person here with the Nine of Wands and the Eight of Swords? It's like they're they're just stuck to you. They're bound to you. They're not giving up to you. They can't up. They're not giving up on you. They're stuck to you. They're just, they're bound by you. They're like, they know you're their person and they're not, they're not giving up here. You know, they feel a little bit anguished here. Um some mental confusion and stress, anxiety, and all that kind of energy. While, you know, hoping and waiting and wondering, you know, when is this going to come together? But they know you need to get into this Queen of Pentacle energy. Or the energies can be vice versa, whatever here. But here, being, you know, like, this is the minor of the Empress. Being in your power. Being strong, stable, and grounded. Um, standing on your own two feet and being independent. And being in that energy to take that leap of faith while you level out justice in your life because then the energy between the two of you is the chariot here so again moving forward together with balance harmony success ambition 
moving forward fearlessly with a lot of drive, ambas drive, ambition, passion, balance, moving together and victory together in victory here. Wow. So they have eight, eight, nine. So, yeah, they they know you're almost at the ending here of what you're going through. They know they're still stuck and bound to you. They can't let go of you. They can't walk away from you. Six of Cups, soulmate energy here. Exactly. The, so this is your soulmate. You could have had past lives with this person. You could have known them from childhood or just a very long time ago. I've known them, known them for a very long time. Thinking back, memories, nostalgia of, of uh, what you shared together before, what you could have in the future. You no know, nurturing, caring. The connection here with all the flowers here, a lot of nurturing and um, growth, expansion. All right, so one more. The moon, yeah. So they're kind of left in the dark here with the moon, because I did see the moon here that stuck out to me, and I didn't say anything about the moon, but now you know, Spirit's like, well, you didn't mention it, so I'm just going to give you the moon card. <laughs> so, <laughs> okay, Spirit, that's what happens when I don't listen and I don't say what they want me to say, then they just give me the card and I have to say it. So, yeah, maybe they're left in the dark here with the moon energy. They don't know exactly everything going on in your life now, what you're going through, you know, how you're proceeding with this justice card, how you're, you know, freeing yourself and moving on from an energy to be with them. It's like they're just distancing, distancing, them, distance, I can't even speak, distancing themselves so that you can do what you need to do. And so they're kind of left in the dark here. You know, they don't really know what's going on. But with the sun here, you know, once you're ready to come towards them and drive this forward, they'll they'll get all the enlightenment they need. But right now they're kind of just, and they're doing it because they know it's the best for everybody. So they're kind of being like left out in the dark here and just giving you space, time, time to do what you need to do. And there may, may not be any communication between the two of you right now with that moon energy. All right, so let's get advice for you, Libra. So, wow, the nine and ten of swords. So, <laughs> so yeah, you're going through a big, big ending here. And you're stressed, uh, nervous, anxious, uh, excited for the future, but yet stressed, nervous, um, can't sleep at night, perhaps, you know, about this ending, what you're going through, 9 and 10. You could be up at night thinking about this person, like, I just can't wait for this to be over and done with so I can be with this person, or just worried and stressed about whatever ending you're going through here now. Hurt, pain, worry, fear. Fear, is this ever going to end? Is this ever going to end? I know they're out in the dark here waiting for me. No communication, because it's the best thing to do, and I'm just all that wow. And that's your advice. So maybe spirit wants you to tell to tell you to raise your vibration, not to be so much in this energy, as hard as it may be. <laughs> that's some advice there. <laughs> that's not really advice. That's like the state of your emotional being right now. But let's see what else spirit has to add to that. For you, Libra. Strength, exactly. <laughs> it's exactly what I just said. So this is Leo energy. So you definitely could be dealing with a Leo here. But this is strength, confidence, um, endurance, willpower, keep fighting on, having, you know, being brave and courageous. So yeah, Spirit wants you to know that you can pull through, that you are strong enough to pull through this energy, as hard as it may seem right now, that you can pull through it. You can keep fighting on, that you do have the strength, and you are strong enough to persevere on. Wow. Through this energy. And you see the moon here. So it's like you know you're leaving this person out in the dark for now because you have to. And it could be like eating you alive, like I want to be with them, and I just want to end my situation. I just can't take it anymore. But I feel it's the best right now. because Strength is also about holding back. Um having that power to hold back when you need to. All right, so let's get one more for the advice here. Yeah, the four wants, oh my God, there you go. So this could even be twin flame soulmate energy here. Coming back together, could it even be marriage? 
or this is the ending of a marriage because we have justice over here. This is marriage. So home stability, uh, foundation celebration ceremony. So you could be ending a marriage and then you could end up married to this person or just in a commitment with this person or just coming back to this person and having a lot of happiness and joy is celebrating ceremony kind of energy with this person. Definitely twin flame soulmate, soulmate energy with the uh, six of cups there. Wow. Wow, so this definitely person that you want to be with is your soulmate twin flame energy. Possible twin flame soulmate energy. Okay, the spirit wants you to know you need to end your situation first to stay strong so you can have this four of wands with your person. All right, so what is the possible outcome here? Well, the queen of wands. So if you're dealing with a fire sign, here they are, Leo, Sag, Aries, and that is your outcome is having your person. Possible outcome is having your person. Somebody who is strong, courageous, and brave, a go-getter, ambitious, has a lot of drive and passion, exciting energy, go-getter energy. They are not afraid to go after what they want. Ambitious. They could, you know, own a business or an entrepreneur kind of energy. They give birth to new ideas and they are very successful. And then we have the stars. So now we have Aquarius too. So, I mean, if they're not fire, I mean, they could be anybody. We pretty much have all the signs here, but now we have Aquarius with the star. Wishes and dreams coming true. Faith, hope, optimism. Something divinely guided for you. So, yeah, don't give up. Have that faith, hope, optimism, strength. This is divinely guided, what you're going through, though it may not seem like it. You will heal from this. You will heal with each other. With the star energy here. Wow. So we've got the moon and the stars. This person wants to give you the moon and the stars. Wow. Wow. Okay, so let's get one more. I think I'm going to call it that. They want to give you the moon and the stars. They want to give you everything. Ten of Wands. Yep. Burdens. You know, burdens here. Releasing burdens. Ending burdens. Another ending here. Yeah, so, yeah, releasing burdens. No longer serving. And they are very burdened by this connection because they can't be with you right now. And you, to them, you also, or you or them, however, the energies resonate. Releasing burdens. No longer serving you. Letting that energy go, healing from that. This could also be your energy, just being in that ambitious, passionate, go-getter driven energy. If you you know, or your person's in that energy, and if they are, this is you getting them in the end. Ten of Wands end. Star healing. Dreams coming true. Wow. Got the sun, the moon, and the stars. They want to give you the sun, moon, and stars. And they can't wait to give that to you. And you can't wait to get that from them. And you want to give it to them too. Wow. Okay, so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. So now we have the hierophant. There's the commitment. There's the commitment. Marriage. Structure. Value. Faith. Hope. Optimism. Spirituality. Religion. Values. Wow. Commitment. Three of Swords. Yeah, there's definitely heartbreak here. Whether it's the person you're leaving or feeling heartbroken because you're apart from one another right now. And you definitely want to be together here in a commitment. Seven of Wands. So being a little defensive and on guard. I don't feel like it's with them. It could just be in your situation. Having to defend yourself. Standing up for yourself. Fighting for yourself. Energy. To become single and independent. Stable and grounded on your own. Because we did have the Queen of Pentacles here. So stable, grounded, can provide for yourself, take care of yourself, and have everything you need on your own. Judgment call here. So there will be a resurrection here. Soulmates coming back together. You know, maybe having forgiveness in your past situation. I don't feel like it's a resurrection of your past. Could be forgiveness of the past. Um, soulmates coming back together, making a final judgment call here. Yep, releasing yourself from the toxic energy here with the devil. And this is Capricorn, doesn't have to be. Judgment is uh, Scorpio, but doesn't have to be. But making that judgment call to release yourself from this toxic energy. Yep, truth, clarity here with the King of Swords. This could be legal, 
uh, representation. It could be judges, law enforcement. It could be anybody. Or it could be just you standing in truth, um, clarity, cutting away things no longer serving you, speaking up for yourself. Yep. And ridding yourself of the toxic energy, making that judgment call to become single and independent, fighting for that, standing up for yourself. You know, having a broken heart right now, either from whatever situation you're leaving or just because you cannot be with your person that you really want to be in this committed relationship with. Wow, Libra. Wow. Okay. So let's get more uh, energy here. So before I do that, I just want to give a quick shout out to everybody. Thank you so much for all your support that you give the channel. It's truly, truly appreciated. So thank you for your donations. Thank you for uh, subscribing. Thank you for reaching out for personal readings, helping in the channel's growth, being a part of that, getting the messages out to the people that need to hear them. I couldn't do it without you guys. So any support you give is truly appreciated and it will only help the channel to grow and flourish. So thank you so much. And if you do like how I read my style, please do like, share, subscribe, and comment. Um, I love to read the comments, and if you subscribe, hit the bell, and you'll be notified when I post all new readings so you don't miss out. You get four readings a month. You get a love connection reading, a singles reading, who's coming towards you, a general tarot forecast, sometimes it's about love, sometimes not, and a spirit messages reading, what you need to know from spirit at this time. So if you are interested in all that, please do subscribe, hit the bell. If you do, thank you, thank you. Okay, Libra. Let's get some extra messages for you in this love connection at this time. What does Libra need to know? Or what are the extra messages for Libra, please, Spirit? Thank you so much. I'm not going to take all those, but let's take these two. And we have Listen to Your Body, 27, which is 9. So, um, you know, this is listening again because you have all the stress, anxiety, worry, fear, going through this painful ending. Pay attention to your body. You may need extra sleep, extra rest. Make sure you're eating properly. You're hydrating properly. Um, you're not taking anything into your body that is not good for you. Um, you know, go outside, get some air, uh, go for a walk, ground yourself, that kind of energy. Concentrate on you and your body. And then we have mental repetition and we do have you know all the sword energy here so you know you be maybe going over things in your mind eight and two ten is about that ending so all the stuff you're going through i think you're just constantly constantly thinking about this thinking 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 with all the sword energy so this mental repetition isn't helping anything so you need to get out of that energy if you can raise your vibration Again, I'm getting all this nature, so get outside, go for a walk, spend time with friends and family, you know, take care of yourself. So let's see what's on the bottom here. We have hidden blessings. So 26 is 8, so that's action, movement, travel, communication. So there are hidden blessings to come after you go through all of this with your soulmate, Twin Flame. You will have so many blessings moving forward. As you do, you have the sun there, you have the star, divinely guided, you know, success, victory, happiness, and joy in every single way. Um, but we didn't get any aces on the board, but it doesn't mean anything. Things will be moving forward. That's right in the middle of your spread. So, okay, we basically have all the signs here. But if you're, you're like, really, oh, I want to know the signs. So we have Taurus over here. We have um, Aquarius, we have, um, Leo Sag Aries, we have Cancer Scorpio Pisces, uh, Leo, Aquarius again. But I mean, Cancer, I mean, they could be anybody, uh, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. So I mean, we have all the, the signs here, so don't, don't get too caught up on the signs. Okay, Cap, uh, Capricorn, I just did Capricorn, <laughs> Libra. Best of luck to you, sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel is, I shine my light so that you can shine yours. So always, always shine your light.